Next one is the Java environment. Whenever you download any Java from the internet and install it in your computer, it comes with a large number of development tools and hundreds of classes and methods. So the Java environment contains two parts, development tools and classes. The classes are the classes are arranged in packages. The development tools are part of the system known as Java Development Kit. In short, it is called as JDK. JDK is nothing but different different tools for compilation, for interpretation, for converting, for debugging, such applications we are using some tools. The tools are called as Java Development Kit. Java also comes with classes and methods as a part of Java standard library, also known as API, means application programming interface. You can call it either as Java standard library or application programming interface. It's nothing but collection of classes and methods. Now we will learn this concept a little bit detail here. Java development kit means as I told, it's a collection of tools that are used for developing and running the Java programs. Now, these are some of the Java tools and these are actually, what is the purpose, what is the use of that tool? Here, the first one is called as Applet Viewer. Applet means a small Java program written for web applications. And this is uh, to check whether our applet working or not instead of embedding that applet into the web page first we have to check on a tool called as applet viewer this applet viewer enables us to run java applets directly without using any web browser okay the second one is called as java Java is actually an interpreter. The job of this Java is to convert the byte code into machine code. So here Java interpreter which runs applets or applications by reading and interpreting the byte code. As I told it will convert the byte code into machine specific code. It's an interpreter. Next Java C. Java C means it's a compiler. What is the job of compiler? To translate here, to translate the source code into byte code. The byte code is a specific code which is written for a specific machine that is called as virtual machine. Byte code is nothing but a code written for a one virtual machine. Java doc. Doc means documents. It creates a HTML format documentation for Java source code file. In Java source code, we are creating many documentation comments. We are explaining each and every class, methods, and every variables, everything. It is converted that documentation part from source code into HTML format with the help of Java doc. Java H means it produces header file for the native methods. If you want to access some C or C++ functions, then we need Java H. Java P is a disassembler which enables us to convert bytecode files into a Java description. If you have a bytecode and you have to convert that bytecode into Java source file, a reverse of compiler. Okay, reverse of compiler. If you want to convert a bytecode into a Java source code, then we are using Java P. JDB. It's a debugger. What is a Java debugger? Which helps us to find some errors. These are the information given for the Java development kit.
Next one is called the application programming interface API. API is nothing but actually hundreds of classes and methods which are grouped into several functional packages. All these hundreds of classes are put it in packages in hierarchical order. Some of the most commonly used packages are language support package. And these are number of classes, a collection of classes and methods required for implementing basic features of Java. Whenever you have to compile, these classes are automatically imported by the your compiler. It contains some of the basic classes. We learn that concept in detail in the package section. Util packages. A collection of classes to provide utility functions such as a date, a time, and many, many more. Compression, many, many more utilities functions are there. You learn that in future class. Input output packages. A collection of classes required for input and output manipulations. If you want to access some files, if you want to access some input from the keyboard, or you want to display something, you want to store some file the data in the file. Means if you want to read some memory, means there are many many applications can be done with the help of these packages. Networking package, a collection of classes for communicating with other computer via internet. If you want to communicate two computers together, some classes are provided here. By with the help of such classes, we can communication will be done. AWT package. AWT means abstract window toolkit. As the name itself indicates, it's a window toolkit means graphical user interface. If you want to create some window buttons, uh, drop down box, radio buttons, or many many graphical elements, we are using AWT packages. The last one is called as applet package. If you want to create a small application of Java called as applet, each feature or the, uh, it, uh, these classes are actually used. Now this diagram explains how actually our Java can be used. Now we can use any text editor like Genie or any ID. Okay, we can use any text editor and create a one Java source code. We have to write one Java program. Okay, once you return that Java program, we have to convert that Java program into bytecode. That is done with the help of a compiler called as Java C. Once the Java C compiles the code and convert into bytecode, it's called as a Java class file. That class file is nothing but a bytecode. You have to convert that byte code into machine code. That can be done with the help of an interpreter called as Java. This Java converts the byte code or the class file into our machine code. That is Java program output. If the code contains some error, you have to debug it. If the Java source class file contains some error, you have to debug it. That can be done with the help of JDB. If you want, if the Java class file needs some native functions, means you have to access some of the functions from C or C++, then we need a Java H. This tool will create some header files for our Java code. If you want to create some help files, documentation files, so this Java doc can convert the source code into HTML files. In the Java source code, we are writing some documentation section. That documentation section can be converted into HTML files.